You're probably a lot stronger now that you've recovered from a near-death experience. <laughs> so you know about that, huh? Yeah! Wait a minute. If neither Frieza nor Ginyu are back at the ship, then that means the ship's completely defenseless right now. <laughs> You've got some real guts, you know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Dearly. So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said. Makes no sense, right? Absurd. Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool. Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! Man, I can't believe Vegeta ditched me like that. I guess he probably thinks he can get his hands on the Dragon Ball while me and this guy fight it out. Here goes! You're mine! This guy's a lot more capable than he looks. Here goes! Here goes! Here goes!
Vegeta said something about that, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean... You mean... The legendary warrior? No! This cannot be! Is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter! What are you doing? <laughs> that body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain. Here's your scout. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> he seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Jinbei. 
and hurry. Those earthlings need you. Uh, okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, Understood my lord. lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, <laughs> very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runts summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! It looks like all seven of them are together in one spot! Right, now's our chance! I hope my dad's all right. Of course he's all right. He's Goku. Plus, Vegeta's with him. Yeah, that's what... The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Right! Come forth, Shenron! 
and grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it! What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does... does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the... Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And, and you're? Krillin, go on. That's not me. <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far. That's correct. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force. Can <laughs> no, it can't be. That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on, Krillin. I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool. The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in the fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? W Vegeta! W when did you... Yeah! <laughs> 
him into a frog. <laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. 
He's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Falls. No! All five of them couldn't have! They couldn't have all been defeated! No! Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Falls! And the Dragon Balls! Almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! This medical machine here, it should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy. It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay.